Back now on First at Five with First with Kids. Health professionals will tell new parents the safest way to lay a baby down to sleep is on their back. But parents have been concerned sleeping on the back could cause the baby's soft melon to flatten. Dr. Lewis First is here to help. Parents of newborns have been heading me off at the pass, asking me that by putting baby on his or her back to sleep at night, will that lead to flattening of the back of their head? Well, let me come flat out and provide some information on flat heads. The best thing you can be doing for your new baby is keeping baby on his or her back every night when you put baby down to sleep. Yet, if baby spends all their time on their back, even when they're awake, well, the pressure on the mattress against the back of the head will begin to flatten a portion of the back of the skull. And this really isn't dangerous, although it carries the name of positional plagiocephaly. Well, that sounds scary. The truth of the matter is, this problem gets better as baby's head control gets better and they stop lying on their back. So what do I recommend to reduce the risk of your baby's back of the head becoming flat? Well, when your baby's sleeping, turn their head each night a little bit over to the right or to the left in order to reduce the pressure on the back of one point on their skull. In addition, what you want to do is give baby all the tummy time you possibly can when baby's awake. Not only does this allow the back of the head not to stay flat, but at the same time it allows your baby to exercise muscles in the neck, the arms, and the legs, which improves baby's motor development. Usually this problem begins to resolve by six to nine months as baby's head control gets better and they move their head a lot when they're in their crib. But if you're not seeing the improvement you want, talk about this with your child's health care professional. And in rare circumstances, they may want to do some imaging to make sure bones of the skull are okay. They may even recommend as you get closer to nine months the use of a helmet to speed up the reshaping of the back of the head. But the head is going to reshape whether you use a helmet or not. And usually this problem has been taken care of by age one to two years of age. What you really need to understand is no matter how flat a portion of the back of your baby's head looks, do not do anything but keep them on their back to sleep at night to reduce that risk of sudden infant death syndrome. Having a flattened back of your head does not constitute any problems with brain growth, brain development, and is not a sign of brain damage. So that hopefully tips like this will shape up what you need to know when it comes to worrying less and appreciating more the flat part of the back of your baby's head as long as you're putting your baby on his or her back to sleep at night. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.